Hello darling, sweet angels. How are we doing? I'm here with my lovely husband. My lovely husband is gonna drop me off at the nail salon. I genuinely feel like I do my nails in every single vlog, but obviously they're usually over the course of two weeks, two, three weeks, which is when I would get my nails done. But this time we're getting our nails done for the UK because I'm going in literally maybe two, three days. Given the fact that I'm going to the UK and it is kind of like winter there, I thought I would actually experiment with the nails today. I also need to go and get some gifts for my family. I hate that I always do this, but I always get my dad a perfume but it's just kind of like what do you really get men do you know what I mean like what would you want babe would you want a perfume get him some nice shirts yeah but what if he doesn't like them what if it's not his style I'm gonna go for like two weeks and we're gonna go there for a whole lot of reasons obviously the main one being to go see family I've not seen them in literally four months now which is such a long time to not see your family considering that I used to see them all the time. So I'm really excited. I'm obviously really sad to be leaving my honey bun sugar pie munch again. <laughs> we're gonna go get the nails done. We're gonna go shopping and then we're gonna go on a little date night because I'm obviously leaving and we're gonna be missing each other dearly. So I think we're gonna go for dinner and then we're gonna go play What's it called again? Uh, what golf? Mini, top mini golf. top golf. We're gonna go play top golf. Actually, because Ahmed wants us to get into playing like real golf, I'm convinced that every day that passes, he becomes more and more of an old man. I really wanted to go to this place that we went last time in my last vlog, which was called Three Falls, because that burger. You wanna go there? I mean, is it? Is does it make sense for us to go there? Like, yeah, is it too? Bad? The burger, guys. Honestly, if you're in Dubai. Please go to Three Fills and get the burger. I've never tasted a burger like that in my life. Like that is the best burger I've ever had and I'm craving it. And the food was all really good as well, to be honest. And it's like on the water, so it's really nice and like it's cutesy vibes. Look, Look at what this man's just put on. Will the US remain what? Will the US <laughs> remain the leading economy? Change this, put on some music, come on. So we went for the French tip brown, which is honestly like, it's an improvement for me. I feel like you can't really see it until we go into the light. Like it's still me, but it's still more adventurous. I actually really, really like them. I might like keep this thing going. I'm on our way to the mall and I was thinking about what perfume I want to get my dad. And I kind of want to get him something from here because then it just makes it a bit more special than just getting him any perfume that I could get him in the UK anyway. So I'm going to try find something that's like local, maybe a nice oud. Can I just say that I hate recording at the mall with a passion. So the fact that I have my camera out for you guys right now, just be grateful. So I went around to all those little um, like Arabic little stalls for perfumes, but honestly, just smelling them, I knew that they weren't gonna last. Look, <laughs> I hate it, everyone stares at me. I've literally come to a section here where there's nobody just so that there's, I can minimize the amount of people staring at me right now. So in the end, I just went and bought him a Tom Ford perfume. I know I know that he likes it and he wanted it at one point, so I called my mom to make sure that he hadn't bought it for himself yet. So I just went with that one. Thought I'd come have a look in home center. You know what it is guys? As much as I love home shopping and I would love to just come in and break the bank in a store like this, we're not in our like temporarily forever home. Does that make sense? Like we're gonna move soon. I don't know if we're even gonna move in like six months. So I don't wanna get decorations that match our current apartment. So I don't know, I don't know what to do. It's kind of like a temporary place, but I do wanna find a really cute mug because I don't know if you guys watched my latest podcast, but the one that I had in the first one, I just shattered it completely. So I need to find another cute mug to go on my desk for my podcast. What do we think about putting this huge mirror in my room and then putting my other one in the living room? I wish that this is actually what it was like, but there's one behind this one. This is huge and it's kind of cute. It's got a black accent and I feel like I need a little bit more, like, I don't know, I guess, color in my beauty room. What do we do? What do we think? It's actually a pretty good price, $7.99. It's such a big mirror. This is kind of a cute lamp to go beside the bed. 
We do need some bedside lamps. Look, we just need to come to a home store. Definitely a successful shopping trip. I really can't put into words to you guys how much I hate vlogging in the mall. I don't know what it is about the mall. Like I can vlog in a restaurant or in like doing an activity, I can vlog, but in the mall, it just, oh, it cr like a cringe. My soul cringes when I pull out my vlogging camera. If I'm with someone, it's okay. I just feel so judged when it's just me and my vlogging camera and people are looking at me. Uh, anyway, I hope the clips that I got for you guys were acceptable. Like, I really tried. So, I guess we can talk a little bit about me going to the UK. It was definitely in the books for me to go. I've been planning to go for a while, but for example, Tokyo happened and we went to Korea. We honestly kind of just needed to, well, I needed to get settled in and have a routine, which like I told you guys in the last vlog that I definitely have now, to the point where I'm kind of sad to be traveling because I feel like I've just got this really great routine and now it's just, it's gonna be out the window again. And I really don't know how I'm gonna continue to do like one exercise outside. I can go to the gym, but to do the exercise outside, it's currently like four degrees in the UK. I'm definitely gonna have to take all my cozy clothes, but at the same time, I'm trying to take like nothing. Like I'm really trying to take minimal things because I'm buying a lot of things in the UK. There's so much makeup that I can't get here. I need to go to Primark and I need to buy so many PJs. I need to buy lots of gym wear. So I've done a very big shop on Honor Active and We Are Tala. And they're both uh, gym clothing brands. Like I said, I'm trying to get into fitness. So I just want to have like a proper gym wardrobe where I don't feel like, what am I going to wear today? You know what I mean? Like, I don't want that to be the problem that stops me from exercising. So I'm trying to have enough room to bring things back. I mean, I am going to have like 35 kg, so it should be fine. I'm so excited to go. You guys have no idea how much I miss my parents. Like above everybody, I miss my mom and my dad so 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 much and then at the same time a part of me is like really emotional and i'm dreading leaving because i don't want to be away from ahmed and i know it sounds ridiculous because you're probably thinking girl it's literally two weeks but honestly guys i'm really attached to him and i think especially now that like we're husband and wife and we, we live together i'm so attached to him that being away from him feels like a really big deal for me like i'm so sure that he loves me just as much as i love him but he deals with this so much better i definitely have somewhat i guess attachment issues with him like it is probably a problem when i think about it because for example me leaving for two weeks for him he's like you know you're gonna have the best time like you go girl and i'm just there like what am i gonna do like i'm gonna miss you so much like what am i gonna do i was telling him like listen you're not talking about, oh my God, I'm gonna miss you so much, blah, blah, blah. But you know when you'll miss me? When the house is a mess, when your laundry hasn't been done, when you don't have breakfast made for you, dinner cooked for you, what are you gonna do? And he was like, babe, baby girl, don't you worry. He's like, I'm gonna order food. I'm gonna get cleaners to come. I'm gonna send my clothes for laundry. And I was like, okay, say no more. So basically, you're not gonna miss me. That's what you're saying. You're not gonna miss me. I know for a fact once I'm there and I'm with my parents, I'm not gonna care. Like respectfully to him, I'm not gonna care. I'm gonna be with my family and it's gonna be so awful to say bye to them. Like I just, I could cry right now. <laughs> What's wrong with me? What is going on with me? Just thinking about saying bye to my parents set me off. It's just gonna be a really hard trip. I think because it's the first trip that I'm going back, I'm gonna have to leave again i just feel very emotionally overwhelmed especially in the past few weeks i've i'm just going through a lot i'm going through a lot it's currently five o'clock and we don't head out until i want to say six maybe 6 30 so i'm gonna quickly try and get some laundry in you know i was literally telling ahmed i can't wait to go and just be a little girl again to be in my mom and dad's care and I'm gonna be cooking with my mom. I'm actually gonna take my recipe book so I can write down some more recipes. Oh, Ahmed's just text me. I really wanna learn how to make iproch. That's like dolma. That's like a big thing that I wanna do. Like, you know what? I was thinking in my last vlog, I was making that rose. Let me like sit down and one day on my vlog, make biryani, make makhlubi, make iproch. Like that would be so much fun and it could be a disaster, but it would be entertainment nonetheless also can i just say that my base right now is pretty much concealer 
and it's the hourglass concealer the one sec let me find it i think it's just called the vanish concealer it's really nice like i really really like it it's the only concealer that is kind of foundation-y at the same time like it's really creamy and you can wear it alone and it makes my base look so good but is it just me like if you've tried this once i wear it for a while my skin goes like like dry and it looks kind of patchy I don't know if it's just me. I'm gonna try it on top of my makeup before I leave. Right, I'll see you guys at dinner and then at golf. Let's hope that I beat him. He does be playing golf, so I don't know. And I'm not really the best at sports, as we all know. Take a look out the window. Spirit goes up as the rain falls down. I've been sitting on the wrong course. Keep it Get like I did before Think that I've said this a few times Even with that, has it ever felt right? I swear that this has happened every moment Can I just be honest? I was only wondering And maybe we could take it to a different conversation Things will get uncomfortable But only if we make it I just wanna say that But you'd rather take it all back Just again in space Cause I wanna believe that Ooh, I get lost You go with your day Slowly get closer But you're moving away I know it's just a recap But I'm sure you'll never see that I'd rather take it all back Good morning guys Rise and shine so we're here to do some Pilates this morning and I'm actually having a private lesson today which I'm really excited about. This is the private room. I've not been in this one before because I usually do a proper class with everybody. So yeah, but up very early today. You know what, this morning when I left my house, I was like, wow, I forgot how nice and serene and peaceful it is on a morning because I used to go really early for my morning walks but since I started the 75 hard I usually go to the gym and then I do my walk so it's like a little bit later in the day y'all ready let's do some Pilates Hi. this is the beautiful Renee <laughs> the way I scraped my hair back so quickly this morning why do I always have an eyelash on my cheek Every single time. Thank it's you. been so long yeah. since the last session. I'm yeah. like scared. You didn't try any other studios? No, no. Oh. I've just been doing gym and walks. Mm -hmm. So that's been my routine. So I'm like, Why? I think you changed a little bit. I don't know where. Face or. I think I think I have lost some weight. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. A little bit. But you do look like you lost weight. I mean, even my leggings don't fit me the same. So uh -huh. I'm like, I think I need to work on abs. So uh, abs and. Uh, Obliques and a little bit of spine extension mm -hmm. today. Okay, so please lie down on your back. Our relation just for tension. You should be in one line, right? Close here. Inhale down, exhale up. Try not to move the carriage. Really good. Inhale down and exhale up. Really good. Then the last one, we hold it at the top here. Stay here. Use your heels to push the carriage away. Extend your legs. Good. Don't drop your hip. Stay here. Really good. Keep your legs straight. Down, exhale up, good, inhale down, walk, very good, straight, good, arms straight, the other one up, move your legs to the center, and squeeze your scapula small, good, very nice, then you try to touch up, more, more, yes, good, you can send the glutes back, very good, keep your toes close, close the flat, legs straight, squeeze your spine a bit more, you hold it here, two, one, and lower, good. This is the only Pilates place I go to in Dubai, guys. It's called My Glow Pilates. And it's just the most beautiful, serene, aesthetic little yoga Pilates studio. I mean, you can't really see because the lighting is so bad. But you guys have to come here and you have to do it with Renee. She's my girl. Oh my God, my hair looks crazy. My hair looks insane. I'm actually just about to jump in an Uber to get to this golf course so i'm actually going like proper golfing with all the boys i'm excited to play do you think i'll be better than you well i beat you at top golf so 
<laughs> Y'all ready to go play some golf? This is actually such a nice area, guys. This is called the uh, Damak Hills. Damak Hills. Damak Hills. And they have some really nice, like, new builds here. It's a nice little area, but it's a little bit far out from, like, main Dubai. I really want to make a point of beating them all, just because, you know, they don't think I belong here. Come on, baby, don't be nervous. You've got this. You've got this. What? These techniques are... Good shot. Wow. I think we need to call the mantis guy for the grass, bro. First of all, the suspension, I can't take it. What? Look, we, what? Look. Adi, that's enough screen time for you. Alright, delete that. <laughs> She's got a metal stick in her hand now. Yeah, the Where's the food cart? Yeah, why'd you do that? He's so sad, right? Because he, he said he was better than me. That one is my ball, and I'm the only one on the green. You guys are hitting your ball right now. Is that not your coffee over there? Hey, YouTube, wasn't she, didn't she just show you guys that coffee? Come, let's That's go look at ball. it. Let's go look at it. It's my ball. Let's go look at this. YouTube, see what your, your hero lies to you about. Look at her. Look at her angrily. That's my ball on the green. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. Look at that. Whose coffee is that? Whose co whose coffee is that? That's not my coffee. Whose coffee is that? That's not your coffee? That's not my coffee. And that's not your ball. <laughs> that's Can I get the blue Gatorade as well, please? Thank you, baby. It's not going how you wanted it to, is it? But I did better than you, no? I'm doing better than you, right? Yeah. What a beautiful sunset. I'm gonna miss these sunsets. There's absolutely no sky in the UK right now. Just straight clouds. It's time guys, I officially can't put this off any longer. I've left this packing so late that it's honestly given me anxiety all day. It's not that I don't have enough time, I just, I hate packing because for me packing is so complex. Also, by now, I'm, I'm not giving cuteness right now. My hair is all frizzy. I literally have white edges around my eyebrows because I was sweating so much. Yeah, I also stink. After golfing, we went for lunch. I don't know if I would even call it lunch at this point. It was like a lunch dinner. Again, at Three Fills, guys, because it's just it's just the best place. If you're in Dubai, go to Three Fills. It's so nice. And then, yeah, just got home and I need to pack. It's currently like six or seven o'clock and I'm hoping that it's not going to take me more than an hour. I need to go shower. I want to wash my hair. We just need to get to it. Also, look what just came in the mail. This cute little package from Huda Beauty where it's like their pink versus peach powders and their color correctors. And look, even the, uh, even the powder puffs are like peachy and pinky. And this one's such a cute little heart. I'm so, so, so excited to try this. This is a peach pie easy bake. I honestly think that this is gonna be the perfect shade for me. Also, can I just say, guys, before I get started, and I promise I'm not using this as an excuse to not get started, I was speaking to my Pilates instructor today and she was telling me how a few of you guys have gone to my Glow Pilates after seeing it in my like videos or my Instagram, wherever you've seen it. And she was saying like how when she'd, she'd have these conversations with you guys, you guys would say like, you know, you think that I'm a very genuine person and blah, blah, blah. And it just made my entire day. Like that literally happened this morning and I've thought about it all day and it means so much to me guys like the most important thing for me is to be received well by you guys and i always hope that you know you you think i'm humble because i am humble and i know humble people don't say they're humble but it means a lot to me that you guys think that i come across genuine I'm so sunburned. I really should have worn my sunscreen today. I'm feeling very embarrassed. Very embarrassed. But anyway, we're all packed. I started to show you guys like cute little transitions of me doing packing and quickly realized that I do not have the energy for that. My room, as you can see, my room has left the chat. My room is really messy, but I'm just going to tell Ahmed like, listen, close the door and just don't open it. We're not gonna open this room up. I showered, wash my hair. We're officially in London, guys. It feels 
so normal to be back can we also excuse how terrible i look i literally slept the entire flight like literally as soon as we were in the air i slept the entire time i only woke up to eat and then i tried to watch the little mermaid and i knocked out when i say i knocked out i only realized i fell asleep when i woke up and i still had the little mermaid playing in my ears for about half an hour i'm at the cumberland hotel i'll do a little room tour for you guys in a second i'm gonna be real with you guys that whole talking I was doing about, oh, I'm gonna miss Ahmed so much, blah, blah, blah. I told you guys. I mean, I still love him and I still think about him. But once I was here, I was like, wow, I really, really, really miss the UK. It honestly kind of feels like I never left. Like, I don't sit here and think, oh, like, it's so nice to be back here. I just feel like, did I ever really leave? I missed it so much. I'm so glad that it's not like warm and sunshine. I didn't come to the UK for sunshine. I came for a cozy, cold weather. Okay, let me show you guys around the room and then I think I'm gonna get something to eat. My order some room service. This hotel is meant to be like music vibes. Um, that's why they've got like a guitar here. And look at what they've left me, guys. They asked me what my like favorite type of music is and what I'm into and they've left me a box of vinyls. And obviously I mentioned Beyonce because I love Beyonce and they've put lemonade on vinyl ready for me to listen to. Welcome to the Cumberland Hotel Healing. Let's open the windows and listen to the beautiful London sounds. Sometimes I feel like you can literally hear the cold guys because Dubai doesn't sound like this. Dubai sounds hot. And London sounds cold right now. It is literally like zero degrees right now. So I've got this really cute. Let me show you guys. I've got this super cute little jumper on from Revolve. So cute. And I'm going to put on my big wool coat. I'm actually going to go down and have breakfast really soon. I really don't have a lot of time because at 11, I need to be at... What would I even call this place? Basically, guys, I'm finally getting my engagement tapes back. I know, I know. Why has it taken this long? I really don't understand. It's literally taken them half a year to get my engagement videos done. But it is what it is. And I'm going to go sit down with them today and watch the entire thing. And the idea is you watch it with them. You tell them what you want to change and what you want to keep. And then they export it all, put it in a file for you. And you're, you're off with it. Like, I wish I could have watched it with Ahmed. Like, he could be here. Like, it's, it's sad that I'm watching my engagement tape back alone. But at the same time, like, is what it is. it's not the end of the world and then after that we have a meeting i'm meeting with nas and we should have a little catch up and stuff and then after that i'm going for a cute little i guess a dinner maybe like a dinner late lunch i don't know what i would call it with tara honus and rosa i'm so sorry rosa i don't know why <laughs> your name escaped my mind for a second but you guys saw them in my last vlogs it's gonna be nice because honest is gonna be there this time she wasn't in dubai when the girls came so seeing all three bar sisters gonna be really cute let's head out you know what guys i'm actually very hot bodied so a part of me is like should i just go out in the jumper and just before i go have you guys noticed that i'm not wearing my engagement ring by the way i know i need to get my wedding ring i'm no longer engaged i'm married i've just been forgetting about it to be quite honest with you but i literally came here without my jewelry because I feel so unsafe in London and being in Dubai and living in Dubai with the safety like I used to feel unsafe in London but this is like a different level now like now I'm actually anxious about it I'm not even going in rough areas like I'm really staying in nice areas but I'm I'm worried and I would rather just come here with none of my like expensive jewelry this is our our little engagement wedding ring for now which is great it's great I'm here at Silhouette headquarters and look they have the little light cloud thing. It looks so cool. We're gonna start editing. I'm so excited. Yes. No. How long is it? The wedding is actually one hour twenty-three minutes. Mm -hmm. It's my favorite song. Is it? It's my it's my, I, it's I my name in it. What kind of song is it? Like it's a romance song. Yeah. I mean, it's quite actually kind of a sad romance song. So we're going into when we like enter now, or is this when it's the guests like, come in? It's like, uh, let me tell you, it's like okay. sequence. Now we wash the decor. The next sequence is actually guest mingling, mm -hmm. then the entrances, Trance, and then the dance, dances. cake cut. Okay. Mm. 
I don't know whether we should put the trailer at the beginning yeah, the, as no, well, no, no, or no, do you no, think no, that'll be... The trailer will be separate. Because it'll ruin it. Yeah, it's it? actually a highlight of your okay. trailer. Yeah. If you don't want to watch the full yeah. ending, you can just yeah. watch it. You will get all the... Vibes of it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it. okay, perfect. Yeah. No, I really like the order of it. Then you will get couple shoot separate, trailer separate, wedding that full film separate, mm -hmm. plus that one dance piece. Mm -hmm. That's it. Amazing. Thank you so much. So, no, I stopped with my vlog. So, like, got like podcast. yeah, I've got my podcast. I've done so much of that here, and it's like back to square one. But you're not really square one because you have all this experience behind you. It's such a good routine. Yeah, it's like to the point where I was so sad to come because I didn't want to ruin that routine. I just finished up with my little meeting. It was so nice, guys. Honestly, today's been so lovely so far. So, I actually have a bit of time to kill before I meet the girls for dinner. I'm gonna head to Space NK and get some makeup. It's so, so cold. Here it is, Space NK. Have you guys seen all the drama about this moisturizer? Apparently it attracts spiders. Love, love, love Space NK. Hourglass. I'm actually having an hourglass moment lately. Look at the three sisters. Hello. They all came. Fashion. In black. <laughs> Kaddish. Oh my God, we got one and we're all Kaddish. And you know what? I feel like I could be the fourth sister. You Don't are. you guys feel like genuinely? I look, I literally look like what the fourth sister. No, no, no. What did I say what when you guys were divorced? I said she's the third sister. That no, no, she didn't say that. How many times I got tagged? In your no way, saying, really. Like, oh, Wallah. Wallah, I remember no, I saw that video. I was like, Honos, mm -hmm. you look more like me than my own sister does. You know That's what? So true. Ahmed said that you two look the same. Really? Yeah, but you, because you, your, your oh, eyes. Me and Tara. Tara I know. I told him, no. Tara and Rose look me and Rosa, the same. I'm the odd one out. Yeah. Every time twins. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what, because everyone's kind of got the long hair going on right now as well. I'm trying to grow my hair. Yeah, I mean, me too. That's why I, I was telling you we guys, I'm trying to... We need to meet and Rouge. Oh, yeah, I know. We need to meet them too. I know. But they're, not, they're never in London and you guys really? are never up there. Yeah. Next time they're in Dubai, we'll try and come to yeah. Dubai. Next time we go to Manchester. Mm. Yeah, I love Manchester. Yeah, but I will be there. Is not there. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You'll be there in uh, Spirit. Spirit. <laughs> We're at this place called Nath. Really nice vibes. I like like the dim lighting and stuff. Yeah. It's like yeah. very intimate. You would think that we plan this guys, me and Honus <laughs> got the rigatoni and then they got the burgers. <laughs> Two cookies, this is delicious. I hope it's hot. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. You're going to stay warm then. Mm. <laughs> that is so good. What the hell? It's perfectly balanced. It's like, wow. well, it is spice, but there's cinnamon in there for sure. And the texture, the crunchy cornflakes. That is so delicious. <laughs> we redid this one TikTok where it's like I walk backwards and they bump into me and then we like huddle and we hug. Wait, oh, your them. shoulders okay? Tell them the story of the pervert section. <laughs> oh my god. So right, guys, you don't sound right. We're trying to do this thing, like I said, where I like put the phone down and I walk backwards like to show like a fit check and then these two bump into me. So we're looking for the perfect ledge with good lighting. So we go to this like no, private. Where is it? It's like a, it's private, a hotel. private property. It's a hotel, guys. It's the marble. Of what? It's yeah. a nice, fancy hotel. Right next to the restaurant. I said so the reception I put it there. is looking. Yeah, and she was like, no, like they're gonna they kick us out. Blah blah blah. And I was like, look, we'll get one TikTok in, right? I didn't know that it was gonna take us like seven million takes yeah. to get this right. Thank God we so left. we do the TikTok, and then the, the guy, the security guy, comes out, and he's like, hey, like, <laughs> can I help you guys? And then oh, I was gonna just say to him, like, you know, like, oh. We're just gonna take but that's that worse, okay because then who might no, say no, 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 no it's yeah okay so then, so then you say okay thank you sir so i said Kind i'm waiting for a friend she was like oh, well, tell me why he friend. didn't need to why do you need to know the <laughs> name he was like who she was like oh he like oh, he lives here and then he was like okay can i have a name and she said no <laughs> and i said guys we'll just do the tiktok no. here keep your head held high in every situation yeah yeah no. but you could have just what i said we're doing a tiktok I is that not okay if it's yeah. not all right see you in retrospect bye you fumbled, you crumbled under the pressure. And we got kicked out of the restaurant. You think I'm gonna get kicked out twice? Yeah, we literally got kicked In out of the hour. restaurant because of how long we were sat just talking. What they were like, dish? what do you expect? Hey guys, sorry, like the next reservation is waiting. What yeah. can we say? We love to chit chat. I'm telling yeah. you guys, if we just get together, we I will mean, we talk see, for hours. Once a year, it's yeah. needed, okay? Literally. <laughs>